Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Scroll Saw Workshop. Out in the shop tonight working on a fun little music uh, clock project, and I just wanted to give you a couple steps here that uh, might be a little confusing. Uh, in the pattern and on the blog, I'm going to give you a link for the music movement that you'll need for this project, and you'll be able to find the plans for this particular music clock at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. The plans will have the dimensions for all the pieces and the patterns for cutting out the dancer. Uh, but the one thing that is going to be a little difficult to show in the plans is how I took this particular movement and uh, slightly modified it for the purpose of this musical clock. I'm going to zoom in here now and uh, show you a little close-up of this movement and uh, what I did to make it work. Here's the little music movement that I purchased online. And again, I'll give you the link to it uh, in the pattern and on the blog. And as it came, it wasn't quite ready for use in this music clock that I built. A um, couple things I had to do. One is, on the end of this movement, it's covered in this cla uh, clear plastic box. The accessory hole for a shaft for a turntable is not cut out. So you'll have to find this accessory piece, and if you look at this, it's at the opposite end from where the key goes in. And you'll see it, it's on the end of the little music drum and there's a hole there. And there's just no hole in a clear plastic to get to it. Now, that accessory hole is designed for accessory shafts and turntables and different types of movements that you can add to these music uh, pieces. And I didn't buy the uh, shaft, the metal shaft, because I wanted to make my own. And what I discovered is, is that one eighth inch dowel stock fits in this hole perfect with one exception. Um, when you get ready to make the shaft that's going to go up into the little dancer's foot to make her go around, you're going to cut a piece that's probably about two and a half inches long and you'll trim it to fit, you know, once you get the box uh, partially assembled. But the one thing you have to do to make this work is the end of the piece that you cut needs to have a flat spot on it for it to catch down inside the movement. So once you get your 1 8 inch dowel cut to the length that you want, just take a little sharp X-Acto knife and about a quarter of an inch up, up from the end, just cut a flat spot. And about half the width of the 1 8 inch shaft is all you need. So now you'll have a flat spot on the end of this shaft. Now when you take your music movement and you push it down into the hole, you'll have to spin it and you'll feel it when it finally catches and then you can push it in. And then when you wind up the music movement, this shaft will turn. Now when that shaft turns, it's the bottom foot of the little dancer. The shaft goes up into this and of course that's what makes her turn. So all the details for the pattern as far as the size of all the pieces and the fret work and the, the cutout for the dancer will all be in the patterns. Uh, but you'll need to uh, drill a couple holes, one for the key in the back on the back piece and one for the shaft to come through the top. And I'll put those in the plans, but when you get ready to assemble this project, you want to do a little test fit as you're making this happen. So once you glue the clock onto the back and make sure you get your key lined up right, you know, do the measurements to make sure these holes are going to line up right. Uh, They'll line up right as far as mine in, in my pattern book, but again, just be careful when you make it. Uh, other than that, you'll need a uh, 1 and 7 16 inch mini clock insert, or if you don't want to use it as a clock, you can add uh, the same size picture frame to the piece, and uh, you could uh, have a picture of your little girl or whatever you like. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy project to make. No, sp no fancy joints, just put joints, butt joints here on the side and everything's just all glued together. So uh, make sure you pay attention as you're putting it together that you get the, the uh, music movement glued in there before you glue on the bottom and uh, you should be in pretty good shape. So with that, I'll let the little dancer uh, play a couple more minutes and uh, I'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.